YSL member accepts plea deal, confirms young thug paid him to lay low after a murder. Hello viewers, welcome to the Hip Hop MC channel, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell for more stories. Another Young Slime Life member has accepted a plea deal ahead of Young Thug's racketeering trial next year. On Wednesday, December 29th, Antonio Sledge, also known as Mount Tonk, appeared in court in Atlanta and pleaded guilty to conspiring to violate the racketeer-influenced and corrupt organizations, RICO, Act, and possession of a firearm by a convicted felon. He was sentenced to 15 years probation. According to the Atlanta Journal-Constitution, as part of the guilty plea, Sledge agreed to testify at trial, undergo random drug tests, own no weapons, and commit no criminal acts. If he tests positive for an illegal substance, he has to go to rehab within 30 days. In addition, he must not have a contract with any of the co-defendants and must abide by the 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. curfew unless he's working, schooling, or has a medical emergency. In a hearing Wednesday, Deputy District Attorney Adrian Love read out a series of factual admissions from Sledge as part of his negotiated plea. One of such acknowledgement was that he admitted he had been told YSL members had met at McDonald's on Cleveland Avenue to discuss the January 10, 2015 murder of Donovan Thomas. Thomas, who was reportedly an associate of a rival gang, was shot and killed in a parking lot on McDaniel Street. Co-defendants Demise McMullen, Shannon Stilwell, Justin Cobb, Javris Bradford and Demont Kendrick are all charged with murder in connection with the shooting of Thomas. Additionally, Sledge acknowledged that he personally knew that one or more YSL members killed Thomas for YSL and that he and other YSL associates were paid by Young Thug to keep a low profile after the killing. If Sledge complies with the terms of his agreement, the guilty plea to the weapons charge could be withdrawn after the trial. According to attorney Love, Sledge was convicted in 2018 of aggravated assaults and participating in street gangs. During the hearing, Sledge's attorney Derek Wright also told Judge Ural Glanville that his client had eight children, five of whom were minors, and that Sledge wants to move back to his family and leave it all behind. Sledge was released from prison on Wednesday, December 28. Sledge is reportedly the seventh YSL co-defendant to take a plea deal and be released from jail. Earlier this month, Gunna was released from jail after pleading guilty in the YSL Rico case. YSL co-founder Walter Murphy and Slime Life Shoddy, real name Wani Lee, have also signed a plea deal. Young Thug's attorney Brian Steele told Eleven Alive the biggest problem in the rapper's racketeering case is YSL members taking plea deals that incriminate Young Thug. The YSL RICO trial is expected to begin January 9, 2023. What are your thoughts? Let us know in the comments.